जय श्री राधे कृष्णा आप सभी का स्वागत है एडीजे न्यूज में आज हमारे साथ अंकिता जी जुड़ी हुई हैं जो कि मुंबई से हैं और इनके बारे में अगर मैं आपको बताऊं तो ये एक लाइफ एंड यूथ कोच है अब लाइफ कोच के बारे में हम लोग जानते हैं यूथ हम सभी सो जानते हैं कि जो भी आज एक एज ग्रुप ग्रुप है जो कि एटीन से लेकर थर्टी थर्टी तक का ग्रुप होता है वो यूथ कहलाता है अब उस यूथ के सामने बहुत से चैलेंजेस होते हैं वो ठीक से मोटिवेट नहीं हो पाते कभी कभी डीमोटिवेट हो जाते हैं कभी कभी वो बहुत से चैलेंजेस फेस करते हैं वो अपने करियर को ठीक से नहीं चुन पाते क्योंकि यही एक एज होती है जिसमें हम अपने करियर को और लाइफ को चूज करते हैं तो आइए मैम से उनके बारे में जानते हैं और लाइफ कोच और यूथ कोच क्या होता है यूथ लीडरशिप कोच बेसिकली ठीक है लीडरशिप का वर्ड काफी रियॉन वर्ड है हर कोई लीडरशिप लीडरशिप कहता है बट एग्जैक्टली उसका मीन्स क्या होता है ये भी हम लोग मैम से जानेंगे मैम की जर्नी के बारे में जानेंगे और साथ ही साथ उन्होंने क्या क्या चैलेंजेस फेस किए हैं इस बारे में भी हम लोग उनसे बात करेंगे तो चलिए स्वागत करते हैं मैम का हमारे चैनल में मैम आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है एडीजे न्यूज में थैंक यू वेरी मच आदित्य एंड आपका न्यूज चैनल बहुत ही अच्छा है एंड यूर डूंग थैंक यू फॉर है थैंक यू सो मैम फर्स्टली आई वॉन्ट कि आप अपने बारे में थोड़ा सा हमारे ऑडियंस को बताएं ताकि वी आर अवेयर मोर अबाउट यू एब्सोल्यूटली सो आई एम अंकिता जगतियानी हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम अंकिता जगतियानी लाइक आदित्य इज ऑलरेडी शेयर आई एम अ लाइफ एंड यूथ लीडरशिप कोच एंड आई वर्क विद बेसिकली आई वर्क विद कॉपरेट्स आई वर्क विद कंपनीज टू मोटिवेट टू work with their mid level management so basically people going into leadership roles may often have challenges when it comes to managing people around them wo apne kaam mein to bahut acche hai bahut amazing hai which is why they get that promotion however when they reach that position how do you deal with work pressure how do you deal with now we have targets how do we deal with now i have a full team to work with i am responsible for the team it's a lot for a person right so that's where i come in to help the individual or do it as a group session depending on what the organization wants uh we usually pick topics or we have a discussion or we set goals based on the challenges that the uh, individual as well as the organization is facing and then we start our sessions so this can be done on a one to one basis or it can be done in a group coaching basis that's really great uh if i'm not wrong you have said uh when the person got promotion so is it related to the things that how they can communicate how they can uh take the responsibilities or they can uh make their social life better because when we uh, got promote to a next level okay sometimes we can't if, uh it happen that we can't communicate in a best way or we directly promote to a, a bigger level and then we are unable to see uh, the problems of the ground staff so is this related to your service that you can help them out is that true absolutely so it depends on what the challenges are one of the biggest challenges especially in the last two years through covid has been communication right and it's not about how you speak what the language is what the grammar is that's not the communication we're talking about we usually touch up on behavioral aspects of communication right how do you, what is it that you need to communicate to a person what do you need to think about before you go and communicate to somebody how are what are you thinking what's your perspective what is their perspective how are they going to receive the message because there is one size does not fit all we cannot use the same approach for every single person which is why when we're in a leadership position we need to start adjusting and you know Uh, tuning ourselves to each individual we are working great okay uh, so uh, now let's come to the apart of this uh, things we come to your services and less part in later on of this section let's uh, start your journey how you start this journey and what's motivate you to be a life and youth leadership coach can you please share that absolutely i mean uh, um, 
I I started my um, when I actually when I left college, I had my full five years plan. Um, I said I'm going to join an event agency. Uh, it's going to be this size of the company. After two years, I'm going to switch to this size of the company. This will be my growth tra- uh, trajectory. In five years, I'll have my own company. What happened was six months later, I said, "What am I doing?" I don't fit in here. Like I liked my work; it was great. People were very helpful around me, but I just didn't feel satisfied. And why I'm sharing this is because um, I think a lot of people in today's day and age, like we speak about the youth, a lot of us face that challenge um, of um, Am I really happy where I am? Am I really feeling satisfied, or is this a job I've done it and I'm okay? right um we want meaning in things that we do so when i was doing this i realized that it was good everything was going well but i was not feeling happy or satisfied which is why i started actually looking out for other opportunities what those opportunities were i had no idea so i spent days months trying to figure out or kya what next what next didn't realize something else came into the way then um it was me working in the hospitality industry so started with events went into hospitality i said okay i like hospitality a part of that role was also event focus and i knew events so i said okay great chalo let's try something new here um fantastic journey i think the best decision i ever made was to join that hospitality uh, company the relationships i made the work that i got the learning that i got the people that i worked with it was just the best thing i would not have had it any other way when i was in that journey towards the end um i started thinking of okay you know what that feeling is coming back still not satisfied everything is going well everything is better than before still not feeling satisfied that's when i just had a random conversation with uh, now somebody who's a very close friend but at that point um this this girl who was a random person for me an acquaintance completely called me and said okay can we meet um you know mere ko aapse kuch discussion karni hai regarding my work that i've just started so so are you are you willing to help me just to have a conversation i said sure so i went i had that conversation and that conversation actually instead of acha aapne apna business shuru kiya hai aap kya business kar rahe ho um aapko main kaise help kar sakti hu instead of that it went on to okay why did you start your business what is the purpose behind it what is the reason what do you want to really achieve years from now forget which one client you can reach out to but eventual aapka goal kya hai so it really went deeper than we thought and that moment i said okay this is exactly what i want to do i didn't know what it was um i had to spend a lot of time effort figuring out what is this work that i can do and that's when i realized that this is exactly what coaching is and exactly what i've been doing for a really long time um tab ja ke i had a really amazing like i like i said um the the where i worked in hospitality the best team so i went to my boss and i said you know what i'm really interested in doing this course um so i need your support because i may have to leave early and things like that you know at some point she was very supportive and i did my entire certification to the effect now i'm an international coach federation accredited life and youth leadership coach so that's how my journey began um of course there was a lot more but this is in brief great ma'am that's really great uh, you have shared a very nice journey and i'm even listening it very well that uh, it started with this uh, okay so uh, now uh, i have a second uh, question and that what type of challenges you have faced when you are come into this industry because uh, as i see uh, when you are going to present something when you uh, tell everyone that you have this issue and it will be can solve but logo ki problem hoti hai aham brahmasmi theek hai matlab mujhe sab pata hai to aise situation ko how do you face and what type of challenges rest of them it 
you faced. Can you please share, ma'am? Aditi, I'm sorry I lost you for a second with the internet, so I didn't get your question. Okay, no issues. I repeat it. I'm saying yeah. that I want to know what type of challenges you have faced because once we are sharing views or we want to share, uh, develop a skill in someone, then we face the problem that person will say, no, I know there are already, I don't want to learn it. So what type of challenges you have faced or you face uh, the same situation which everyone is facing. So can you please share that? So it's interesting. Um, of course, it's very difficult to go in and say, okay, you know what? I want to help you um, randomly, right? Um, though what I have seen touch wood, um, people, my clients who I've had, have had a very positive approach that, okay, we feel like you can come in and help our team with something. And they have very, very amazingly sat down with me and shared everything, whatever challenges there are. So when it comes to the challenges I face, my challenges are very different. I've not had any challenges with working with organizations where they feel hesitant to open up or where they feel hesitant to turn around and say, oh, no, I don't have any problem. Um, I think also I'm working with the youth, right? So uh, people have, these people who understand we need to invest in their team's personal and professional growth, they come with a very open mind. So I think that has not been a challenge at all. Um, what has been a challenge has been personal, right? Because every single thing that I can share or do share with anybody, I have to first work it on myself. I have to apply it in my own life. And uh, what is uh, interesting initially, at least in the initial days, was that I had a full routine. Now, sometimes I didn't have enough work to fill that full routine up, right? But I still had to come and sit down. And, and at times it's demotivating, but my job is to motivate others. So how can I be demotivated? So um, it's a constant. It was now, of course, I've been able to manage it. And I now I know uh, I can easily figure out what I need to do when. Uh, but initially when I started out, I think this was the challenge that, OK, I'm here to help them with certain these certain of these challenges. So I need to make sure that I'm right there to be able to do. Great, ma'am. Uh, and that's true. When we are uh, sharing or uh, giving the lesson that how you can upcome from the, any challenge, first we have to upcome from that. So that's really nice. And it's happened with everyone. Sometimes it's happened with us also that we have no interview and we just sit and wait. Yeah, yeah, someone is going to be for interview or someone come for some work. So that's the happened with everyone. And that's really nice. You have uh, doing it. Okay. Now, uh, I have a one more question to you is that what's uh, the things you have done yet in this sector? Uh, can you please uh, share a bit about that? So we know more about that, what type of work you have earlier done. Sure. So I have worked with very different industries. I've worked with an FMCG industry, with a uh, engineering, uh, you know, people in the engineering field. I have worked with marketing agencies. I've worked with law firms. It's just kind of anyone across any industry. What happens is that um, the, the, the fact is that if somebody requires the help, the challenges that people more or less face in organizations are similar. It could be across any industry. So what I've, what I've done is I've created some modules. I tend to go into companies saying, okay, I have a three-month plan or a six-month plan. Let's talk about the challenges you face. Based on that, I curate the models or personalize it um, as per their requirements. So for example, I have an effective communication module. Um, I have a module here which is on stress management. I have a module on positive intelligence, um, self-talk, self self-conversation, creating impact. You know, so there are many leadership, specifically leadership focused, right? Leadership mindset, growth mindset. 
सो मेरे पास बहुत सारे मॉड्यूल्स है दैट आई क्रिएटेड माइंड मैनेजमेंट इज एन अदर बिग वन एंड वॉट आई डू इज आई पिच इट टू क्लाइंट्स एज अ थ्री मंथ और सिक्स मंथ प्रोग्राम बिकॉज वॉट आई सी एंड वॉट आई फील एंड आई ऑल्सो वेरी ओपनली शेयर विद द क्लाइंट इज की एक महीने में आप बिहेवियरल चेंज नहीं देख पाओगे हर इंसान का बिहेवियर चेंज होने में वो प्रोसेस है राइट right? टाइम जाता है so in order to see benefits we have to keep following up with them otherwise it's a one off session motivation levels are high and then they fall down again but when we maintain consistency clients also are able to um, set goals and achieve them in that time frame right so i have done various various types of themes and topics over the last uh, to two and a half years and what i also am very happy to do and i tell my clients if you have a specific challenge that you want to overcome please tell me and i will curate something for you on that that's great ma'am uh, okay uh, now uh, i have a, a three questions more with you okay, okay. Uh, that's third last question is can you please uh, tell us two uh, major things which we are learning from last many years leadership and growth mindset each and everybody is tell, having a conversation on growth mindset and leadership but sometimes we is still not able to understand the real means of that so i request you you share your opinions because you are a leadership coach okay so i want ki aap uske bare mein proper hame thoda sa knowledge hai taki uh, the people can aware more about it and the growth mindset के बारे में हम सभी जानते हैं बट कहीं कहीं पे इसके को लेके भी कुछ मिथ्स हैं तो उनके उस बारे में भी आप थोड़ा सा एक इंट्रो दे सके तो दैट विल बी मोर बेनिफिशियल फॉर अस मैम सुपर सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लीडरशिप सिंपली राइट लीडरशिप इज व्हाट समबडी बीइंग अ पार्ट मेकिंग श्योर दैट एवरीबडी इन दैट टीम इज एक्चुअली ग्रोइंग टुगेदर राइट what one thing if i have to share some things as a leadership tip for any leaders who may be listening to this is that it's okay to not know everything you cannot know everything you have a team you have a team for a reason use their expertise together for your benefit right as a leader sometimes one may feel that okay i have to do everything i have to know absolutely everything and of course that increases stress levels right when there is a big challenge that comes in what do you do what do you really what should you really do is just talk to your team and say okay hey this is the challenge that we've got collectively come up with a solution multiple people multiple efforts is much better than one person's effort right so that is uh, something about leadership that i i would that i think it's very important for people and leaders specifically to understand um involving their team members in decision making because remember till you don't equip them you can't move ahead because there's nobody to take your position so let go of the insecurities if there are any let go of any fear if there is any that this one's better than me that one's better than me just focus on growth of each and every person in your team you will be respected you will be a good leader you will be happy and satisfied trust me and that's really a nice definition of leadership i mean i didn't really give you a definition but i felt this is a little gist that we need to yeah but uh, uh, many people i see uh, i had a conversation with many entrepreneurs and leaders sometimes uh, i face that uh, especially in some uh, cities tier 2 and tier 3 cities especially uh, the leaders don't want to uh, give chance to the new ones they just trying to be hold on their positions and want to do each and every work by their own so that's uh, that's whichever you sh- shared with us that's really a nice information i and i feel and i respect that if any every leader accept this then they will definitely get a good growth absolutely and and growth mindset you asked me earlier right yeah. growth mindset goes hand in hand 
it is about leadership having the leadership mindset having the growth mindset because if you are able to think of okay i am just looking to grow and i am going to involve everybody and make everybody grow that's growth mindset you're looking at multiplying your potential you're looking at multiplying everybody's potential you're looking at always finding solutions instead of blaming and putting people down that's another thing as a leader your job is to uh, uplift people empower people you can't do that by pinpointing constant mistakes you have to empower them to find solutions always you need to ask them okay this hasn't been done right this has gone wrong okay what's the solution to this as opposed to of course it's important to know why that went wrong etc but that cannot be the focus of the conversation the focus is how do we go from here to here not spend time here and then take one step up you know so i think uh, uh, i hope that this information helps that's true ma'am and uh, i really appreciate that you shared such uh, great information now uh, i have a second last question to you is that what type of services you are offering right now to corporates to youth okay so we want to know that too ma'am please share that absolutely so one uh, one of my i have two verticals if i if i can put it like that one of them is individual coaching um individual coaching is from teenagers to you know people up to the age of about 40 years where they come to me we set goals that they need to work on and over 3 6 8 months depending on the goals that we've set and and um, the conversation we've had we start working on achieving their goals through one on one sessions um the other part of my practice is corporate coaching where companies get me into their organizations and then we curate programs for them for 3 months 6 months 9 months year long there are there are people who've been working with me for the last 2 years even you know because their mindset is we want to keep learning so there's really no end time but we we i have 3 months programs 6 months programs uh nine month programs a year long programs whatever the client is looking for that's great once again yeah that's really great ma'am huh? okay uh, now let's uh, come to the last question of this section and uh, i really uh, happy to have this uh, section because it's a really very informative section and you shared a very great knowledge with us now uh, in a few words can you please give some message to our youth to our nation what message you want to give to us please so so thank you aditya for that question i just like to say that there is something over here there is a voice here which will keep taking you down every time you get out of your comfort zone it will tell you hey you can't that's how the mind works but don't listen to that don't listen to the disempowering voice in your head remember it's there it's there to scare you it's there to pull you down what i would say is every time you have a fear or a scare overcome that do something small but overcome it because that's the only way you can keep going ahead if you stop here if you let your fears catch you here the only way is down so i just say don't let your fears eat you don't let this voice inside your mind stop you keep going overcome that voice that's great message ma'am and uh, i really thankful to you that you have given the time to us and you share the very great information with us and i really uh, happy in future if we have a more session with you regarding uh, the different different topics the different different services which you are offering it's my pleasure to have you in the few more session in further also looking forward thank you so much aditya for your thank time you. and uh, good luck to you with everything you, that you are doing yeah radhe krishna Thank you. Thank you.